Welcome, guys, to the continuation of a Let's Play. It's Final Fantasy VII Remake after a year and two months, I think it is, gets its DLC that was... You didn't necessarily know it was coming, but now it's an intermission to go with the Integrate Upgrade that has come out for the PS5. I've downloaded it on the PS5 to get that lovely, like, locked frames of 60 per second at the very least. Ah, oh, yes. And we are now ready to play a different story inside Midgar. The intermission of Yuffie. So, without further ado, let us pick new game and enjoy a new town. And before I start, I will say, please do the liking and the commenting and the subscribing and all that below. God, I had to say it. As we start a new adventure in default. And normal, of course, normal. Not classic, just normal. Let's begin. Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. Hunter and elite special forces operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! Members of Avalanche! With your full support! We got this! Members of Avalanche? Where are you? Come get me already! Uh... Okay, if I was a man in a Moogle hat... Huh? <laughs> Wait, does this mean what I think it does? Interesting. So, I gotta come to you, do I? You got some nerve. <laughs> and so it begins. I don't know about you, but I'm up for more tales in the Final Fantasy VII universe. And I'm sure Square's gonna give us tons of them in time. So let's get back into the action. Beat up some traffic cones and some rocks that look... Oh, that, that's bins, not rocks. I was about to say, they look very polystyrene Star Trek rocks. Hi, rat. A toxic rat. You for strength. You can fight effectively both up close and from range. Press square to strike a foe with a throwing star. Hold square to continue attacking while putting distance between her and the enemy. Precision defense as well. Gun just before an enemy lands a hit will greatly reduce the damage Yuffie takes. Hmm. You think I'm that good? I guess you're never far from a rat in Midgar. Let's see what you got. Ha! How you like this? I'll just do crazy dives and stuff. It's fine. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Skills too. Aye, right, wouldn't be Yuffie if I didn't do this, right? Hi, Potion. <laughs> I've got a steal. More to the point, I've got a mug. By pressing triangle, Yuffie can hurl a weapon at a target. Press square while it's away from it to perform long-range ninjutsu attacks. The weapon will return to Yuffie automatically after a certain amount of time. To retrieve it sooner, press triangle again. Think you can take me? 
think you can take me? Well, it's not like our opponents can even do anything if we're doing that. Elemental Ninjutsu. The ability Elemental Ninjutsu changes the elemental affinity of Yuffie's attack while her weapon is away. Though it deals non-elemental damage at first, pressing left or right while the ability is selected will alter the affinity of the attack. Use Elemental Ninjutsu to exploit your enemy's weaknesses and pound them into submission. Why would I even need spells then? Let's do Windstorm. That's pretty good. Think you can take me? By pressing triangle, Yuffie is capable of destroying Shinra boxes from a distance. Try destroying multiple boxes at once by giving Yuffie the perfect vantage point. Is it better if I destroy multiple at once? Do I get some kind of box multiplier? Seems to infer that as Sam just walks off a cliff. Whee! Hopefully it'll destroy all three. Oh, not allowed to go over. How about help? Got no time for small fry. I don't know about that. They've got time for me by the look of it. Okay, he was not in range. The thing with that is, of course, he's weak to wind. He should be. I'm the ability jet. No, tornado! Don't blow me away. Where are you now? Range ninjutsu. Jan Jan. Right. Should probably cast cure on myself. Hello. I got hit a little bit. Hopefully I do have it. I have loads of high potions as well. But equally, if I'm getting high potions already, I must have some gear. Speaking of which... What do I have? Yes, because there's no way that Yuffie would be that materia. 16 SP already in the four-point shuriken. An oversized throwing star used by ninja from Wutai. I have to use elemental ninjutsu more. Actually use the thing to exploit weaknesses to get the proficiency up. Gotta remember all the mechanics now, haven't we? So I've got no attachments as of yet. I have a steel materia, a deadly dodge materia, healing materia, so that's cure, and cura. We have an assess materia, which I probably should be doing, actually, when I think about it, and a parry materia. Anything else? Oh yeah, she's Yuffie. Resistances to instant death. Yeah, I'll, put, I'll put on this subversion materia. Yuffie, why would she not have materia? Speaking of materia, <laughs> I guess I need to find my way up. Tor explain. No bomb. Someone really needs to give you guys some proper sustenance, I feel. Here, welcome to the channel. Oh, well, I guess I'm not going anywhere until I get that elevator moving. Yuffie's weapon can be used to strike more than just crates. Try tossing into hard to reach objects such as distant switches. Which is do nothing against me now. Uh, I never cease to amaze myself. Okay, these posters are actually a proper lure then. They weren't just her just going in a weird flight of fancy. Oh. 
Up we go then. I'm about to say, I've probably learned my ability jet. Oh, they're gorgeous going up there to do stuff. Uh, we saw it coming. So, what were these guys weak to again? Oh, not fire, I don't think. I think it's, oh, no, it was fire. Oh. Picking out the correct ninjutsu is pretty good, isn't it? There's another one of those things over there. Talking about the posters, not the switch, but I'll take that. That's probably the way up to... Yeah, you s could you see a little red glow then? Or purple glow, isn't it? Ninja should have been able to climb up. Well, she, did, she did okay when falling down, but I wasn't saying it was actually ninja style. Can I just walk... Oh. I will take the ladder then, because I'm a good seed. I don't jump off the cliff. I go all the way around. Gotta get my seed rank high, right? There's a kind of breath going on in this room. Yuffie, she sniffs out all of the materia. You obtained an orb of HP up material. Would that be better than subversion? Can I jump down? No. Whee! Actually got a fairly like always moving around by these standards. Is he still there? Oh yeah, it'd be your breathing with your very heavy reunion stuff. Yeesh, this town's a total dump. I thought Midgar was supposed to be the marvel of the modern world. Talk about false advertising. City of Mako? <laughs> City of garbage, more like. One and the same. Power of power risk guards. That is an attachment, right? Yes. Increase the strength by 5%. I will take. So can I upgrade the weapons at all yet? Because it says I've got 16, but I'm guessing it might have already been spent. I have not spent anything. That is good to know. So what do I want? AP up? Now we should use mug. Mm. <laughs> I mean... I am Yuffie. Maximum HP, magic, magic power. So I'd be thinking like HP for now. Let's get some points in. Gotta have my mug ability, right? So I've got to use that f a few more times to get the good stuff. So do I need the steel material anymore? Is Mug just a skill now? I guess that's the thing to try and figure out, isn't it? Is steel redundant? I must say, it's also nice to be playing something so smoothly action combat again. Oh, there's another one of those guys. Game very much wants me to look at this guy. Huh? I gotta do something. He doesn't look like he's being attacked. Oh, I'm supposed to go up the ladder, so... Don't worry, I'll just climb the pole. I'm a ninja. Oh, you'll do the trick. Come on down. Yeah, but it's obstructed. I like the the clonky noises resembling, of course, certain sound effects from before. But feel time based. Mm -hmm. 
nice way to reuse the sound effect, isn't it? Set by me for 776 damage. See, at this point, I want to try and assess them. Where'd the other one go? I think it died, maybe. It will tell against any attack mode, but dodging or guarding against its counteract will make it susceptible to staggering. Weaknesses to Blizzard. So let's quickly chunk on some ice here. Oh my goodness. And more headbutting. Bad doggy. Uh, so, not even a thank you? I mean, I don't know if they have the capacity. What do you reckon is more HP at this point? Cure wasn't bad. Considering cure costs nine, and cure costs four. Two curers does better. Ooh. Actually, more of our own areas to explore if we wish to. Oh, let's continue to go off the beaten path, so to say. Can't miss any material now, can we? The problem with the wolf hitting for 700. Yeah, material. It was more about just worrying. Orb of wind. I wouldn't have the abilities to cure or anything. It's like just been using assess and the whatnot. I guess finding out the weakness wasn't a bad strat. Hello. I'm just the same guy. Did you move forward? <laughs> oh, these tunnels are reminiscent. One thousand gil. To be honest, the whole area is reminiscent of a certain area. We should know where we are, after all. Oh, wait, he's there again. Look at the plates. So what's up with you this time, mister? Is it you? Oh no, this one's a different guy. Oh, I did phase through his existence for a small period of time. Why can't we just walk past them? We do. Psych yourself up. The weirdness is still going on. Should I go this way then, according to this thing being here? What does it say? You did it on the headband. Oh, I did actually break it. Huh, okay. That Ron Nexmal's gone. Must have gotten used to it. <laughs> The way things are going, I'll be working for Shinra next. Nice try, Midgar. I'm being indoctrinated. City's getting to me. I'm a bit worried about the area we're in. More scorpion buddies. That's what I'm supposed to head for. What's down the other path? Obviously, gold's over there, but we want to get every treasure chest that we can find. It's more about passing uh, the numbers, the, the cloak guys. 
you wouldn't, like, want to keep your eyes off of them as you pass them. You just would be worried about what was going on behind you. Do you not feel the same as me on that one? Well, searching around helped a little bit. An orb of MP up. Meanwhile, as the music stops over there, signifying something. Gotcha. Nothing to worry about whatsoever, is it, guys? Are we in Sector 7? We are indeed. We are in the slums. We are making our approach. However, something waits around this corner. I forgot about the saving system in this game. Can you save anywhere? Excellent. Let's save before we walk around this corner, shall we? Where the music suddenly no longer exists. Not an enemy going to attack me. Oh, they are guys with guns, to be fair. Wait, did you just come from any monster troubles or? No, it's fine. Just don't question more than that. I'm just entering your area. I guess you're guarding it for I'm monsters, not me. We're here. Monsters have been acting strange since the bombings. Don't go letting your guard down, okay? I'll try not to. Good for any of us if Wu Tai's got their claws in this. Utah, you say? That. They blew it up. Easy as you please. Mogul Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control and the people of our first city need not worry about any additional complications. We are in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. Oh, oh, oh! What do we have here? <laughs> Man, that's gotta be Avalanche! Not bad. Not bad at all. But I can do better. Yuffie? <laughs> Yo. What? There's our palm! So, you're Avalanche? I'm Jija. Follow me. What? Wait up! So, Jijie, why didn't you come meet me before? I figured an elite W agent could find their own way. I may be elite, but it's not like I've ever been to Midgar. What exactly is a W, anyway? Anyone who lives where you just came from. Think of it as a code name. Uh -huh. Still can't believe they sent a kid to do this job. This kid could kick your ass! Saying you're a fresh face is all. Oh, don't worry. I know exactly what you're saying. Give me a break, will ya? And let you walk all over me? So why well, here we are. Dead? Ladies well, first. Judging from the news, they didn't get caught. They'll turn up. And when they do, we're gonna treat them to a feast. I can almost taste your pizza now, Jesse. Shame, since you won't be getting any. What? <laughs> the pizza. Man, Never forget. Never forget. Well, there's places to check out, however, we can't do anything more than walk at the moment, so we may as well continue on. Avalanche's base, eh? Good old benches. Just gonna have a nap. <laughs> it's fine. I fell a distance. Traveled a bit. Don't stare at me creepily while I'm sleeping on the... I guess it's inappropriate for me to just instantly take a nap on a bench, but still. We obtained a boomerang. Is it better, though? I guess I'll check in a bit. We've still got to learn the skill on that weapon. These two are Billy Bob and Polk. And that's Nayo. Hi. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra HQ and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! 
Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. <laughs> Ready to rumble, huh? You better believe it. So, did you guys meet Sonan yet? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he got in three days ago. He's out on the town as we speak. <laughs> really seems to be enjoying it here. Oh, he does, does he? You, uh, got any bags? As if. Ninjas always travel light. It's like a rule. Huh. Uh. But I did bring these. Wu Tai's famous da chow beans. Eat up. And here you go. Uh, huh. hmm. Oh! oh. <laughs> Can you eat these things? <laughs> Guess you do. Sheesh, you ninjas are insane. <laughs> ah. Do me a favor, Yuffie, and wait here for Sonon. I gotta head out. Your ID should be ready for pickup by now. Then why don't I join ya? Nah, I got this. Besides, you reek of trouble. <laughs> huh? Yes, she does. She basically sent everyone to the dentist. I guess ninjas have really strong jaws. <laughs> Let's speak to Nio first, then. You must be tired from your trip. Why don't you get some rest? With all the noise in this city? I'm freaking possible. How about you tell me where in the Shinra building they're keeping that materia instead? Don't hold out on me now. I know you know. Actually, I kind of don't. At least, not an exact location. All I know is that Shinra, for most purposes, treats materia as a weapon. Which means the Advanced Weaponry Division probably deals with it. And since that's in the basement... I see. So... Shinra hides its top secret materia in the basement. <laughs> you won't have to wait much longer, my precious. I promise. Just be careful, will you? Please? Oh yeah, you should introduce yourself to Billy Bob. He knows a thing or two about the Shinra building. I will speak to Mr. Thornton indeed. Except that I don't know if he can talk anymore. Welcome. So the materia I'm looking for is in the Shinra building, right? And where is that exactly? <laughs> Ignorance truly is bliss, huh? What did you just say? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Of course, you probably knew this already, but there's a whole other city built on the plate above us. Shinra building's right in the middle. You can't miss it. Oh, that one. Why didn't you say so? Now. If you want to get topside, you first got to get out of the slums. And for help with that, you should talk to Polk. Okay! Polk! Help! You look kind of nervous. I just want to make sure I have the plan down pat. You know, like how to get up top and all that. Huh. Well, if you had an ID, you'd normally just take the train up there. But with all the commotion going on, that's not really an option. Security's on high alert. If you ask me, your best bet is to sit tight and wait for things to settle down some. Sit tight? But I want to go now! Be my guest then. Go get killed. Uh, harsh. Twas! I like your avalanche banner though. There's your Moogle posters. Well, okay. Who's helping me do what then, guys? Sonon's still not back? Must be in Walmart then. What's Walmart? Let's just say it's a place for people with mature tastes. Mature tastes? There's lots of different establishments. It's kinda hard to explain. No, oh, I think I get it. Like bars filled with smoke so thick you can't even see, and drinks so bitter you want to spit them right back out. Uh, where everyone gets drunk and complains about how kids just don't understand the value of hard work. They'll be the death of society. Ugh, how can they not see that they're the ones destroying it? <laughs> Wu Tai's got a place like that, where grown-ups drink their lives away. It's called the Happy Turtle. 
Interesting. There's a happy turtle in Midgar as well. Huh? I don't know where exactly, because I've never actually been, but I do see their flyers from time to time. You do, huh? Oh, they're taking down Midgar one citizen at a time! <laughs> I salute you, happy turtle. Come to think of it, there's a man who goes around putting up flyers for the bar. People call him Old Snapper, and he doesn't dress like your average Midgar male. Might be from Wutai. I gotta find him. Man deserves some Dachau beans. I mean, average Midgar male. I couldn't even guess what the average dress even is. Look at your top after all. It's actually really quite cool. I actually quite like the whole strap going down to the belt and getting connected like that thing. The undershirt. The, like, under formal shirt. That's quite a look. Pockets at the front. You Becca would be jealous about all those pockets. You know about the VR combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? It's that thing that stimulates modulation. Hmm? <laughs> Kinda. It's a machine that puts you in a virtual world where you can practice fighting all you want. There's even a portable version of it. Guy around the corner has one. Uh-huh. Hardly ever see technology that cutting edge down here. So what do you say? Want to try it? I really don't have time to be playing around with some stimulator. But just to be polite, I guess I'll take it for a spin. <laughs> the guy's name is Chadley. He's over by the neighborhood watch. If you ever feel like some virtual training, I'm sure he'd be happy to help. We did indeed pass Chadley. I do not have the time for a stimulator. You look about ready to die of boredom. Wanna play Fort Condor? Fort Condor? <laughs> I should have known. It hasn't been out long, so there's no way you W's would have heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And what's more, I'm awesome at it. I'll whoop you so hard you'll wonder if you ever knew the rules. For my benefit, then. Let me go over them. And so it's minigame time. So, <laughs> let's... See a beginner's guide to Fort Condor because I didn't realize I was getting in some kind of mini game, but I know what Fort Condor is, of course. Fort Condor is a board game where you employ units and material to destroy your opponent's headquarters. Before play begins, let's select a loadout. <laughs> Loadouts, you can select what board to use, which will determine the number of ATP charges and material available to you, along with the units you wish to deploy. Check what units and board your opponent plans to use and adjust accordingly. Your opponent, the opposition's board and unit loadout is displayed on the right. Each unit has a weakness that can be exploited for massive damage. Therefore, keep in mind which units your opponent is using when selecting yours. And you can't edit your board or units at the moment, so press X to start. Well, thank you for telling me all that when I can't edit. <laughs> Sad times. But given a modern dint. When the game begins, both you and your opponent will each have three bases, a headquarters and two outposts. When the match must either destroy your opponent's headquarters or have more bases left standing when the timer runs out. Units will automatically march forward and engage enemies once they have been deployed. There's three valleys by the look of it. This looks like quite a few games. Each unit has an ATP cost required to place it on the board. Your ATP charges, which refill over time, can be viewed at the top of the screen. It's gotta be a... Uh... Yes. There's definitely a triangle to this. So there's ranged, melee, and defensive. So I'm pretty sure defensive beats melee, ranged beats defensive, and melee beats range, because that just makes sense. Music, though. So how do I uh, choose? Oh, that's magic attacks. Material allows you to use powerful spells during a match. Press L1 to select the location to catch your magic. Once you have made your decision, press X to unleash the attack. Offensive spells work differently in Fort Condor in that they do not deal elemental damage. Instead, each spell has its own unique attack pattern. Spells can be only used once per battle to know when and where to use them. It's the key. Okay. Okay, I want to put... How do I choose which one? Oh, there we go. Finally, it's choosing. I was like, which button do I press? It's coming for me. Deployment. Move the cursor to the spot you wish to deploy a unit, then press X to begin selecting the unit you want. Yeah, you should have told me that before I pressed random buttons. To change the drop location, press cancel and reselect. A unit is assigned one of three roles, Vanguard, Range, or Defense. Pay close attention to these roles. They determine what enemies the unit will be effective against. Vanguards are effective against ranged. Ranged units are effective against defense. Defense are effective against Vanguard. So these are Vanguard guys. 
A unit's role is displayed above them. When placing a unit on the board, enemy troopers, their disadvantage will be highlighted. A diagram that illustrates the relationship between the free roles can also be reviewed at any time during a battle. The front line. We can move the cursor anywhere within your own territory and as far as your father's unit is advanced. Extend the front line deeper in enemy territory to press the advantage. Yeah, but I've already let this guy get to me. Oh, God. You got... You got bonked, he did. Like, I think you win. We're extending the front lines. So, yeah, reduce damage. Could I just select another? Slug Ray. So it looks like one side's doing this much and one side's doing that much. Let's get a guard dog out. My 80 bars refilling. Now, where are you going that way, doggo? Okay, well, that's fine. You're attacking the thing. I was expecting you to attack the middle one, but I guess you can't attack the middle one until you've done the outside. Hey! Big bird! I'm not amused. Another slug ray, please. This bird's kicking my ass. But it does seem like only one type of unit appears on each side. So I will use my ATBs to summon more riot troopers. More gunners. This side is definitely stalling things, though. More grenadiers. I've got, they just ignored him. By my me, I guess. School security officer. It'd be funny if they were attacking me the whole time and I didn't realize. We won! Get old Fort Condor. Sentry gun, prototype, defense, and Condor coins were earned. Damn, Yuffie, how'd you do that? You totally kicked my ass. You mean you didn't lose on purpose? Wow. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a challenge, the Undercity's got no shortage of serious players. I've kind of got better things to do. Sure about that? Word is, if you beat the Grandmaster, you can win some serious cash. Materia, too. Materia? That's right. But you should know, the hardcore competitors won't give you the time of day till you've proven yourself. Whatever. Bring it on! You got the Sorcerer Board and the Headed Trooper Vanguard. Uh, all this talking's giving me a headache. I'm gonna go do some recon. <laughs> I won't stop you. Just don't go too far, okay? Seems we spent our time doing stuff in here for our introduction. And now we move on. Maybe, just a little bit. Fort Condor's fun. I, that does make you wonder, though, what happens to actual Fort Condor. But yeah. That was nice to play. The Nostalgias. 